Hey, welcome back to Mike's Trains, and thanks for taking time to watch my videos. Um, last time, if you watched the last video, we added the, the fascia here to, to finish off this side of the, uh, of the layout. <clears throat> now, I haven't cut any of the height of this yet, which I still have to do, and we'll take care of that later. I want to get some of the scenery in here, but let me just show you what the whole purpose of doing this... Uh, this layout, this uh, fascia, the way I did it. So that we have the plexiglass, and that will just sit in here like this. Um, it works really well, and this is how this will go. So this will go just like that, and that keeps hands and fingers and elbows from getting into the inside of this. It's working as intended, just the way I wanted it. The only thing now I have to do is I have these two pieces that were here when this went straight out and angled in. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to switch this out for one full length that goes from end to end here. But that's that's the idea. That's what we were looking for, and uh, that's going to be done. Um, all I got to do now is to lay in the foam on the inside and then cut this with the uh, jigsaw to the height that I want and this will work just fine um, so that's it for that uh, so the next thing we're going to do now that this is taken care of and this is as far as I'm going to go with this for right now the next thing we've got to take care of is over by the turntable okay so this is what we have to fill in now this is where my turntable used to be and we need to get this filled in so that we can lay tracks over it and do whatever we need to do. Um, and yeah, there's still a track going across the back. I'll pull that out later. Um, pull this out later. But in the meantime, we need to get this hole filled in. And we're going to fill that with, with foam, uh, the foam sheet. And. I tried to find half inch thick foam, but I, I, they just didn't have it in these small panels. So I got one inch, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this, cut a square out of this, a little smaller than I need, so a little bigger than I need. This sheet is obviously way too big, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark off here, I'm going to mark it just bigger than the hole. <clears throat> and I'm gonna cut a square out, and then I'm gonna push it up from underneath. So let me get the square up, cut out first, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, so here's the square we need to fill this in with. And <clears throat> what we're gonna do, this is gonna cover this, it covers it fairly well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a marker and we're gonna, I'm gonna hold it underneath and draw, trace the circle out. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this underneath like this, like this. I'm gonna hold it in here and I'm just gonna trace out the circle. So that's our circle right there. So now I'm just going to cut that out. And in case you're wondering, all I'm using to cut that is one of these um, one of these long adjustable blade knives, and they work really well. You can adjust the blade. Um, they work well because the blade is longer than the foam is thick, and they're they're kind of easy to work with. So let me cut this out, and then we'll come back. Okay, so I have the hole cut, I have the, uh, the plug cut, I'm going to fit this from underneath, and I want to do everything from underneath because I want this to come up flush with the surface here. And then I'm going to have to turn this until I find the way that this is going to fit. What I should have done was mark what 
what I should have done was mark a, uh, a register mark on it, mark the foam, and then a mark up here so I know where it goes to, but I didn't do that, so there it is. This will go up in here, like that. Now we're a little big on one side. Like that. This, like that, so I know which way it's oriented. And then we'll just trim this back just a little bit. So we're just going to trim this back. And try this again. want this to be a very tight fit. See now we have to be careful. I don't want to go flush with this back because there's all cork on that. And you can see here this is the actual wood. I have to scrape all this cork out of here. Like that. Just like that. So it'll be flush like it is right here. When I scrape this cork out, this should all be pretty well flush. Um, you know, I may have to tweak it a little bit, but, but I think that'll do it, just like that. And then we have the hole plugged. Now I'm just going to take some caulk and run a bead down in here, but I got to scrape off. Let's get the, the cork away from the outside, outside edges of this and then we can fill in all the holes in here. So let me go get a scraper and we'll start pulling that up. Okay, so I didn't turn the camera on for the scraping, but I mean, you get the idea. I pulled all the, all the, all the way up here. And all the way around here down the back here I'm not gonna worry too much about that because that's gonna be covered with the overpass that's gonna come over there won't be any rails back here so I'm not gonna worry about that but what I need to do now is fill in and run a bead down all of this stuff and that'll glue that in and then on the underside I'm gonna run a bead around the whole perimeter of it and then it'll be glued in solid when that's done. So let me go get some caulk and, and we'll get that stuck in there. All right, so I've got the caulk now and I usually use the DAP uh, 230 caulk. You know, I use a gray because it's paintable and it um, it's very easy to work with. But I don't happen to have any right now. So I'm gonna use what I have on hand, uh, it's silicone, and um, I'm in trouble again. Okay, so the caulk is opened, and let's run a bead right around here, nice heavy one, and I want to let it squeeze down into the holes and get it right in there. And I'm holding it there long enough to make sure that the gaps get totally filled. OK. 
Okay. So now we'll just take the putty knife and just seal that right around. This stuff I don't like to get on my hands because it is kind of a pain to clean up. So there we go. Now I just need to run a bead down around underneath. And that's it. Now when this is dry, will be good to lay track over it, we can cork over it, we can do whatever we want, and you'll never even know that hole was there. So that's it for that. All right, so I think that's it for today. I, I've got some more work to do, I've got more track to pull up, and before I can remount the turntable on the other side of the layout, uh, I got tracks to pull out down there before we can think about cutting the hole. So I think that's going to be it for this week. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't seen the other videos, please go check them out. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, visit my website, mikestrains.wordpress.com. Um, I have a lot of stuff there, and there's some things that don't show up here on YouTube or Twitter or wherever you're watching me. Um, that are over there. I work on my father's HO scale layout as well and there are some photos of that on my website if you're interested. Um, so again thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.